This is the Zion Cinepeer Weeble 3E. The fact that it is holding an R5 with a 24 to 70 right now is just absolutely bonkers. I am unbelievably impressed with this thing. I didn't expect much, and I know that that sounds negative, but I'm trying to be honest here. Something I prided myself on in Chicago was that I always had great area footage of the city. So I had footage of Wrigley Field, I had footage of Navy Pier, but I realized that being here, I just don't have any area footage. And that is whenever I got a product from Zion. If you're familiar with Zion, it is the top competitor to DJI whenever it comes to the gimbals. The Ronins seem to be the standard, but Zion is really attempting to make a push at the consumer level products and the pro level products. I got the more consumer level one because I feel like it could hold weight in my kit whenever I don't want to use the Ronin. On it, I have a Canon R5 with a battery memory card. It does add weight, that's why I'm mentioning it with a 24-70 f2.8 and an ND filter. Set it up last night, so it should work still. But let's go ahead, power it on for the first time of the day. Unlock everything. There we are. It is balanced, good to go. We'll play around with it a little bit more. It's balanced to be wide, so I'm curious to test it out whenever it is tight and zoomed in. Look at the Canon R5 on this gimbal. The gimbal is so small, but it's still comfortable in hand. You can hold one hand on here. The second one, I feel like always ends up guiding anyways. I'm never really doing a death grip on the Ronin RS3, so this, the size is amazing. One of the things that I always love doing with a gimbal is the long kind of speed ramp type of shots. That's what I'm gonna test out here. With this much weight on this small of a gimbal, I'm curious to test out if it's actually smooth. And the way to tell that is do a speed ramp. Whenever you do a speed ramp, you can easily see the micro jitters. I'm actually kind of impressed with how it held up there, but I haven't seen the shot yet. One of the things that I noticed is the motors on this are not as strong as the motors on the RS3 Pro that I'm used to using. Whenever you go to zoom, the camera tilts. So it's just on like the movement, so it's not that big of a deal. I had a hard time balancing it whenever I had the cage on my R5 with the 24 to 70 and everything else on it. I'm sure there's a way you can make it work, but for me, it was very hard to balance and the gimbal kept failing on me, so be weary of that. As of right now, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I might throw this in my bag whenever I'm like, oh, I might not need a gimbal, because like the size of it is just so much smaller than the Ronin. The Ronin takes up like half my suitcase every time I take it anywhere. This could just fit in my camera bag. So first impression, much better than I expected it to be. So much better than I expected it to be. The being able to mount it both horizontally and vertically with zero additional attachments is absolutely massive. I have messed around with the L brackets, the collars, uh, maybe just the weird plates that will go on the side. None of them end up working that great because you have to remount every single time. The fact that they designed it into the actual gimbal is so unique and clearly it's like, oh, we take our creators into account. So the gimbal is rebalanced, clearly vertical here. There's one trick that I think will help you guys a ton. If you go in the menu settings right here, go to menu, click on motor and then auto, you'll see it start to tune up the motors. All this is doing is that if your gimbal is a little bit off balance, this will allow it to compensate for that. And it won't get those little micro shakes or anything. So it's eliminating any problems for whenever you're actually shooting. And it kind of like dummy proofs you actually balancing the gimbal. So 
got the check mark on there now we can use this as we please pretty quick transfer you know to be honest that was my first time balancing it vertically and it's not hard at all i'm really really impressed i personally like whenever my gimbal is very low sensitivity so that all of the movement comes from the arms and it took me a minute to figure it out if you are curious so you're going to go right here you're going to press the menu button go down to advance click on speed the control will affect the joystick sensitivity and follow will adjust whenever the sensitivity is whenever you're going up and down and you want it to move with your body which is how i like to use a gimbal click on follow i go to five tilt five roll five pan that's my personal preference i like whenever i go up it'll go up very slowly and down it'll go down really slowly one of the annoying things is that it doesn't do a great job of resetting whenever you double tap trigger it works sometimes doesn't work the other times probably something to do with the big camera that i have on here now i know this is the comparison that i continue to make this is the ronin rs3 pro this is the zion cinepeer weeble 3e and to be totally honest this is going to continue to be my pro whenever i know i need a gimbal whenever i know i'm going to use it all the time i'm going to continue to use the ronin but this right here is a professional piece of gear that you could definitely use on your projects this gimbal will be in my bag whenever i'm on a project that maybe i'm uncertain of what it's going to be will i need a gimbal will i not the ronin is too big this can be the fallback whenever i might need a gimbal if i end up needing it this will get the job done in every single way i need to and maybe I might even go as far as saying I'm gonna pack this if I'm shooting on a gimbal in a vertical format. Also, if you are interested in buying this, I do have a 10% off link down below. That gives me a little bit of a kickback. So support the channel, support yourself. Great piece of filmmaking gear. I think could level it up a ton and save you a couple dollars as well. So thank you for supporting. Thank you Zion for sending the product over. And even if you decide not to go buy it, I totally get it, subscribe. That supports me, costs you nothing, and I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Peace.